Dame Vera Lynn is home again. It's a proud day for her family. Well, because Mummy was brought up in East Ham Barking, this was her area, and to have something like this, which is, well, in a way, yes, part of her, because she's now on a wall. It's brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Dame Vera Lynn was born in East Ham in 1917. She started performing in local clubs aged seven. We meet again, don't know where. During the Second World War, she was known as the Force's sweetheart, often flying into war zones to entertain the troops. All my songs were optimistic songs. They were never war, war songs, as they were. And uh, that was a sort of little message from me, saying, well, things are going to be all right, you know. Kirsten Osborne now sings for the troops herself. She and Dame Vera Lynn used to write to each other. Although Dame Vera died last year, Kirsten feels her spirit lives on. Just through this pandemic, th those songs come back to the surface and it was we'll meet again that everybody was singing, especially me, because that's how we were feeling. We were all saying we are going to be together and reunited. And they're the songs that tell a story and they, they have the words that mean so much to so many people in different ways. The aim of the mural is for that legacy to last even longer. Really, we're inspired to do something that can educate the people in this area that didn't actually know she was born here, but also, obviously, for the next generation, for them to be aware of who is Dame Vera Lynn and what did she do for all them servicemen all them years ago. The pressure of the painting fell to street artist Nasher. The finishing touches came today, but the work itself took eight hours to get on the wall. And it seems the Dame Vera effect continues to span the generations. I'm immensely proud. Absolutely. And uh, I think my nan, I think she'd really be proud, you know what I mean? I don't think she knows I do this for a living. Um, she's like, when are you going to get a proper job? So I can show my nan and she would be like, oh my God, you are, I've got a proper job. <laughs> the mural will last for years, but Dame Viridin's family are raising money for a permanent statue to honour this East Ham legend. That one will go near the White Cliffs of Dover. Where else? Toby Sadler, ITV News.